Hi, this is Steve from SMC Motomes at Newark. Today we're going to take a look at one of our approved used vans. This is the 2017 Auto Sleeper Broadway. So as usual, we will take in a full tour of the external features of the Broadway first, and then we'll go and take a look inside. So this is a one owner from new van, done 6,900 miles, um, 6.3 meters long. It's on the Peugeot chassis, a two liter turbo diesel, and it's manual. Uh, so looking at the features, we can start with the alloy wheels. The Broadway's got a 25 litre uh, LPG onboard gas tank, uh, LPG being about 60 pence a litre, so an economical way of getting your gas. Um, this is uh, the freshwater fill point. To the side of that is an external uh, aerial supply. So if you're at a campsite and they've got uh, TV aerial feed, you can plumb into their supply there. Uh, this is the um, vent for the Truma boiler. Hookup point just to the side of that. Uh, we've got the toilet cassette housing just there, and above it is the uh, water for that. So you fill that up with water uh, with your toilet chemical, it keeps your toilet all nice and fresh. So we'll get a side profile of this van. As you can see, it's in mint condition as expected with being a one owner vehicle. So that's the offside done, and coming around to the back. At the top there, we've got a color reversing camera. Uh, the display for that is mirror mounted up in the front cab. And then you could quite easily add a bike rack to the back of this, no problem at all. And then coming around to the near side, we've got the habitation door just there, which we'll go through in a minute. And then you've got the habitation light above. And then the awning across the side. Uh, also on the roof, we have a solar panel and a TV aerial. Working our way down, these are the fridge vents. And then to the side of that, we've got a barbecue point just there. And then next to that is an external uh, power supply. So if you were having a barbecue, you could uh, hook up a microwave or even a TV. Uh, that's the second way uh, of getting your water on board. You'd use this point if you had a powered hose pipe supply of water. Uh, the other one we saw on the other side uh, is if you need to pump water into the van. And then just to the side of this is a very generous locker. This is also accessible from under uh, the bench seat inside, as you can see from the slats just above. Uh, but this is also ac accessible outside. And then just underneath that, we have a uh, rubber lined waterproof locker. Uh, so you could use this for uh, water cables, hook up leads, chocks and that sort of thing also got a spare wheel as well but i'm not going to get under there to show you that you'll have to take my word for it uh, we'll get another side profile of the van this side but absolutely mint condition done 6900 miles one owner from no so that's the exterior of the broadway done let's go and take a look inside So coming into the boardway, we can see that it's a front lounge layout, uh, absolutely gorgeous inside. Uh, we've got the two twin benches. Uh, so if you wondered what the initials were after the boardway, uh, EK, End Kitchen, TB, Twin Benches, LP, Low Profile. A bit of a mouthful, I know, but there you go. Um, so this is what makes up into your large double bed. Very, very simple to do. Um, all the cushions are supplied but it does make up for a large double, or indeed you could probably use it as two singles. 
Uh, on this side, this is the storage which is accessible from outside in that, um, that storage hatch that we looked at a moment ago. And then you've got more storage on this side as well. But then you can see that we've got uh, these overhead storage lockers that go all the way around above those seats. Uh, really, really nice in size. So we've got some that have got shelves and some that haven't got shelves. And then there's a couple of little cobby holes at the front for your loose items. And then at the front, we've got this lovely opening uh, skylight window. It's a bit like a sunroof really for those lovely summer days. So if I just pan round, uh, um, I'm sitting in one of the captain's chairs, but you can see really, really lovely lighting. You've got this, uh, this moody LED lighting with the spotlights as well. They go all the way down the middle of the van. Uh, there's an occasional table uh, that you can use, uh, obviously, for dining. Uh, and then there's a smaller occasional table uh, just for cups of coffee uh, that goes in that little um, hole just there. And then the captain's chairs also spin around, as you can see. So plenty of room for six adults, maybe more, uh, for eating and drinking and watching TV, that sort of thing. So moving into the kitchen area, uh, we've got this very handy uh, worktop extension unit just there, which, uh, which comes up from the side. And there's also a pull out just there. So for some extra worktop space, that's lovely. With some more in the corner just there. We'll just push that in. Um, above that, uh, we've got overhead storage lockers again, all the way around. So there's a couple in the kitchen and one just above the microwave. Uh, so microwave just to the side of that with some wine glasses then we've got all the inputs there for tv there's a usb port um, a couple of uh, power sockets 12 volt and your aerial in so that's already rigged up and then underneath we've got uh, the three-way uh, fridge freezer with ice compartment uh, three-way meaning that it will take whatever uh, power supply it has whether that be gas uh, electric hookup uh, or the alternator while the engine's running and then towards the back of the the kitchen just there we've got another couple of uh, power supplies we've got these overhead storage lockers again plenty of room there uh, extractor fan and then we have a full cooker so we've got an oven just there that looks like that's never been used or used very infrequently a grill just above that and then hob wise we have three gas burner and one electric ring uh, the sink uh, just to the side of that and then we've got plenty of drawers just here there's three drawers there a little lift down to the side of it another drawer for your cutlery and then a cupboard just under there, just pull back so you can see. Uh, there is a safe there as well for all your valuables, which is very handy. But uh, lovely, well-equipped kitchen. Uh, you've got the oven, the grill, extractor unit, microwave, the fridge freezer, and then that lovely added work counter space. Just opposite the fridge and the worktop, We've got this uh, wardrobe. So you've got plenty of hanging space just there. And then uh, these are the two occasional tables I was talking about. So this one uh, is the one that you, you would use for eating. Uh, obviously with it being removable, you can take that outside and use for barbecuing, that sort of thing. And then that is the smaller one that you put just up behind the, uh, the cab seats for a quick cup of coffee. back of the van on the offside we have the the shower and the washroom now usually with vans around the six meter or the 6.3 meter uh, length 
uh, you usually have a, um, a wet room style washroom. Um, so when you're having a shower, everything else gets wet through, like the, the wash basin uh, and the toilet. Uh, Auto Sleeper have addressed this issue very, very cleverly by having a turnaround uh, wall. So this comes around with the wash basin and then using uh, the shower screen to the side, we can completely screen this off and you've got a separate shower, um, thus keeping the rest of the washroom dry. So very, very clever idea, very, very clever use of space. So we'll just pop that back around. Um, so you've got the hand basin and the toilet just there. And then above, we've got some more storage and some storage behind those uh, mirrored sliding doors. Um, that is a drying rail. So that actually pulls across here and connects into those two hooks. So you've got somewhere to dry uh, your towels and wet coats, that sort of thing. So very clever. And we've got this lovely mirror as well. So very clever washroom uh, with a separate shower, even though the van is only just over six meters. So that's great. So let's look in the cab and see what uh, offerings we have here. Uh, so there's electric mirrors and electric windows on the side. We've got a multifunction steering wheel. Uh, this has got Bluetooth connectivity, so you can answer the phone, uh, control the radio uh, volume, that sort of thing from the steering wheel. Uh, cruise control. It is the six speed manual. Just above is, uh, that's the display for your reverse camera. Uh, you can either have it just come on when you select reverse or you can have it on constantly and literally use that as a rear view mirror. Uh, head unit there, that's got your radio, your Bluetooth connectivity, it's a CD player and all that sort of thing. Uh, cab aircom, just to the side of that. And we've got a couple of 12 volts just there. And then just to finish off, we've got the passenger and driver airbag. So uh, well equipped cab, it's nice to have a CD player uh, and the color reverse camera as well. So that's the tour of the Broadway about complete. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just to recap, it's the Auto Sleeper Broadway EKTB LP, uh, end kitchen layout. It's a one owner from new van, done 6,900 miles. Absolutely lovely in condition, as you can see. So if you would like any more information on this van or any of the others that we have in stock, please do get in touch. I'm uploading videos regularly as well. So if you'd like to give us a like, hit the subscribe button and the little bell, you'll get notified every time I add something new. So for now, that's it from me and I will see you on the next one.